Hey guys, it's Lita. Today I'm gonna be making a really requested video. After I met Cameron and I posted a video, obviously, where you guys could see, I got a lot of requests to do a video on tips on how to have a good long distance relationship. Every relationship is different, I just wanna start off with that. Long distance isn't right for everybody. So if that's the case, then sometimes that's just how it has to be. Tip number one, I would say, well, it would go for any relationship really, but it would be open communication and being honest with each other. Because without communication, long distance relationships are really, really hard. Being away from the one you love is hard enough with you being upset about things that they don't even know about, that's just gonna make it 10 times worse. Another thing that would be amazing, but not a lot of people have, is parents that would be on board with you going to see your significant other or being in a relationship in general. I luckily have a dad who is very trusting and I've earned his trust obviously so you have to do that but Cameron's got an amazing mom who has had her doors open for me for a long time but if you don't have a support system like that it can be really really hard especially if you're under their roof so you can't really do anything without their permission and that in itself can lead to a downfall of a long distance relationship. Another thing would be making future plans of a visit whether it be months away or years, just have that in the future. I know that that's helped me a lot with the distance between me and Cameron, being able to look forward to seeing him. Oh, there's my kitty. Say hi, Yuki. Another good thing is to not let distance get you down. I know that sometimes I get sad about not being able to be around Cameron, but I can't let it get to me too much because it's not gonna last forever. And if I spend this whole relationship up until the point that I live by him, then it's not gonna be very fun. Just try to be hopeful and optimistic for the future. It'll be fine. If you guys don't, have an equal want to be together and have an equal understanding of how long distance relationships work and want to see one another as much as the other does, then that's really important because one-sided relationships in general are not fun and unfortunately don't work out. Don't get angry with each other over petty stuff. Try not to argue, argue as little as possible because that definitely makes it a lot harder because you can't just kiss each other and be like, okay, well that's over. I don't want to fight anymore. It's not always that easy. And being long distance, you can often perceive things differently than they're meant. So trying to communicate, this goes along with communication, is a really good quality because instead of just going straight to yelling about it, you can sit down and talk about what you're feeling and how things are going with you and they can help make things better so that an outbreak doesn't happen. And lastly, some long distance relationships just don't work out. Some people just aren't fit for it and if you're not, that's fine, but it's not the end of the world. I've been in my fair share and sometimes they just don't work out because either you aren't compatible or you don't have the same understandings or you aren't on the same level or one person just isn't as motivated as the other or doesn't see a future with the other. And any number of those things can make a relationship go from everything to nothing. Long distance is tough, but if you're strong enough for it and you have the patience for it, it's amazing. In fact, maybe it's one of the most rewarding types of relationships. And you learn a lot. You learn not to take for granted the things that IRL couples get every day. I think that's really important. And when I get to see him, it makes it 10 times more special. Also, one more fact try to surprise each other sometimes. As most people like surprises, and it's a really good thing for long distance relationships. I mean, today was Valentine's Day, and I was singing all day at school, and I came home to two things of flowers. Cameron sent me and I actually cried. It's not exactly easy to arrange something like that, I wouldn't think. And it's things like that that are amazing. I mean, for an in real life relationship, you probably wouldn't think much of it, really. But it, I could honestly say it meant the world to me. There are just certain things that 
you love and appreciate more when you don't live by that person and I think that's amazing. So if it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, then maybe IRL relationships are just how you're supposed to be. I think that's it guys. I can't really think of anything else to put in here. If any of you guys have any more to add on, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'm sure I left a lot of things out. If you guys have any video requests, also leave those down in the comments because I like to hear what you guys want to see. Anyways, I think that's it for today guys. If you want more tips on certain things regarding long distance relationships or just videos about long distance relationships in general, I mean, if that's what you guys want to see, I can definitely make videos about that. Anyways guys, I love you. <sighs> that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this face right here and i will see you later <gasps>